just about through here. Well, hurry up. We're late. It's not my fault. My dad got transferred. Lisa, time to go. Say goodbye to Brian. I'll always love you. I promise. Do that. Don't pick it up like that. Remember how Dr. Nielsen told you how to pick things up? Uh, I thought we were going to get an early start. You watch some television. Um, well, no, this doesn't matter. It's, it's just been such a big day. Okay.
What in hell were you doing, Coop? Well, I just wanted to see if you still had it in you. Grow up. Stop acting like a kid. Well, why don't you stop being so serious? Can't you take a joke? Not when I'm in the air. And if you do it to me again, I'll get you. Now, you loved it, Billy. It got your adrenaline going just like the old days. Mm, next time, I'll forget about my adrenaline and run you over. <laughs> Julie's always gone to special schools, so we're concerned that she'll have trouble adjusting to public school. Well, according to this report, she'll fit in just fine. She's very sensitive and, I mean, she's quiet and she hardly talks at all. So we worry about her. That's understandable. But mainstreaming is not really such a traumatic experience. Well, let's hope so. Well, you better get the girls to class if we're going to make it before the end of the first period. Don't worry about a thing. They'll be just fine. Thank you so much. Well, oh, have fun, sweetheart. Bye -bye. Now, uh, you have your lunch money? Yeah. You're going to fit in just great. Now, are you sure you don't want me to pick you up after school? I'm sure. You gonna be all right? It's a long ways. It's only a couple of blocks. Okay. Well, you look just beautiful. Your hair turned out just great. Julie, I'm real glad to have you in my class. I thought uh, you'd be most comfortable up here in the front. Okay? All right. Okay, well, this is a little short, but uh, we'll fix this later, all right? Okay. All right, everybody, this is Julie Ward. She just came here from St. Louis. And uh, that's it, okay. All right, Jason, what were we talking about before? I don't know. <laughs> that's right. Okay. <laughs> She needs a license to drive that thing. <laughs> I assume you have a note for being late. Sure, I got one. Well, let's hope so. The period is almost over. Yeah, I got to slow down a little bit, know what I mean? I got a note, don't worry. Find it. You can be a real pain, don't you? I feel like crip with these things. At least the doc says I'll be off in no time. Ripped it out in last week's game, see it? We creamed them 21 to 14 in the last quarter. Those turkeys thought they had us. We hit them so hard they were crying for mom by the end of the game. Your note? Give me a break, okay? Whose signature is this? Bugs Bunny's. Whose signature is this? It's my doctor. This is not a playtime. You are sent in here instead of Jim, and you are expected to work. When you come in, I will give you a job to do, and you will have it finished by the end of the period. And you are to be on time. <clears throat> How you doing? Okay. 
Scott Billen's name, football's game. I was listed number 30 in last week's program. See it? No. Place to drag, know what I mean? Hey, what are you doing here anyway? What do you do, like, uh, sprain your ankle roller skating or something? Let me help you with that, okay? I don't need it. How'd you like to give me that pair of pliers over there, will you? Under all that stuff.
Oh, give me a couple of them little cotter keys. They look like big old vomit pins. trying to put this wheel assembly together for three days. She's antique. Gotta make do with whatever parts you find. Or make. Gonna fly her? She ain't a boat. Where are you going to go? Everywhere. I'm back off now. I'm Julie. Appreciate the hand, Julie. See you around. I signed you up at the Y class yesterday. Your teacher's very nice. Her name is Miss Russell. Would you call you up, Julie? Okay, I'm going to pick you up after school. I'll take you to the Y class. That's okay. I can find it. You sure? Yeah. Well, okay. Susan, what beautiful colors. Oh, I see. John, this is supposed to be you. I don't think he's that good looking. Everybody, we have a visitor. Come on in. Are you joining us? I think I have the wrong place. Oh, I think you have the right room. No, I don't. I think I'd see you again. It's okay, isn't it? Sure. Stay put. Come on. Come on. Hurt. Get out. I don't get in no trouble. He's an old dog, but he's feisty. What's the deal here? You uh, come out to watch me work? Yeah. As well get something done.
How's it going? Okay. My name is Coop. It's, uh, Cooper, really, but... Coop. I bet you go to Rockwall High, don't you? Yeah. I went there. About a hundred years ago. Old place is probably the same, ain't it? Well, I was gonna envelope this wing and uh, dope her up. You don't say much, do you? Sometimes. Make it a damn sight easier on the conversation if you did. You need some help? I could all use some. Wanna hold this up? Smile. I see a smile up under there. <laughs> you know, when you do it, you're pretty damn cute. You ought to do it more. I had a center way for this. I probably could have made it myself faster. I mean, you could be eating it all. Hey, Julie. Hey, how you doing? Fine. Yeah. What you reading there? Nothing. Catcher and Ryan, huh? You got Olsen Freemus, right? Yeah, second period. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Don't take that. Uh-uh, you ain't gonna like that. Hey, can we have a new one from the back? See, they put the old ones in front. What kind of dressing do you want? Uh, oil and vinegar. And a lot of oil and vinegar dressing, please. Nothing for me, thanks. you like this a lot better. There you go. Uh, words of warning, never touch them hamburgers. They taste like old football. Hey, you like chocolate pudding? Sometimes. Well, they only got it on Thursday. Would you like to have some beans and corn? Um, no, 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 no. Lasagna is good on Friday. Lasagna is good. You're going to like that. Hey, can I have some of that too, please? Are you a football fan? Not really. Great game. We've got a hell of a team here, you know, ranked third in the county. There you are. Thanks. You're welcome. Last year, we almost made the playoffs. This year, we're going to bury them. Listen, Julia, I... I'm sorry about the other morning. You know, I didn't know. It's OK. Yep. How long have you been doing this? Oh, I don't know. Eight years, something like that. You the only one around here? Well, at night, Sam. Of course, in the day, there's all kinds of folks flying in and out. But at night, it's just me and them. Must be nice. It's OK. Do you ever leave? Only when I have to. I eat most of my meals at Billy's. And I don't really get into town anymore. Dogs on it. Look at that. Hold on. It's that rocker box cover leaking again. 
Doc Craig's gonna want to know about it. You remind me. What's she looking at? Nothing. Nah, you're looking at more than nothing. I always stare up at the sky. Why? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Ain't she something? She got more beauty and integrity than most folks you'd ever want to meet. What's it like up there? It's like being a bird. Nothing stops you. Is it scary? No. Only the first few seconds till you're up there. And it's beautiful. Yeah. You like flying? Never done it. Not even one of them big old jetliners? I sure do wish I could fly. Like chili? Yeah, it's okay. Well, we best be going then. <clears throat> Old Billy makes a mean pot of chili, but she closes that kitchen up tight come five. She gets all, all over my tail whenever I'm late. You know, you wanted to learn to fly, Billy would be the one to teach you. She is the best damn teacher there is. I can't fly. Come on. Anybody can learn to fly. Except me. <laughs> what makes you so special? My legs don't work. You don't have to pedal to stay up there. Anyways, uh, it's up to you. Come on, let's go eat. think she could teach me to fly. Well, I don't see why not. How's she going, Derek? Fine. Good. All right. That's old Derek's glider you like so much out there. Kitchen's closed. Oh, come on, Billy. It's only a few minutes after five. Fifteen. When are you going to learn to sell time? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I tell you she's a nice lady? Who is she? Your new pupil. I haven't got time to teach anymore, Coop. You know that. Well, you certainly do. I mean, look at all the time you waste just shooting a bull with these old buzzards. You got to quit talking about the past. Get on to something new. I'm gonna stop feeding you one of these days. You'd probably starve to death. <laughs> Can I get you something? Chili? Can your stomach take it? She's just trying to scare you. She's tougher than she looks. Okay, you're on. Bowl of chili coming up. Billy and her husband did the stunt flying in all them movies. Really? Mm -hmm. That one was from 30 seconds over Tokyo. She damn nearly got killed shooting that scene. Better have some milk. Coat your stomach some. Before you put this stuff down the chute. 
You have got to have a cast iron stomach for this stuff. Don't worry. You eat her food long enough, uh, it'll happen to you. Now, for someone who doesn't like my cooking, you come here often enough. It's convenient. I like it. You're a girl after my own heart. Where'd you find her? I like her. Well, meet your new student, Billy. Billy Dupree, uh, Julie... Ward. Ward. Hi. You want to learn to fly? I never really thought I could. If you're not sure. Of course she's sure. Do you? Yeah. How come? Because I'm tired of looking up all the time. She got in mind. Uh, put your arm around. Okay. How's that? Put your arm back through here. And another one. Can you close yourself up tight there? around and talk to some kids afterwards. I don't want you out on the streets this late. I, I was almost coming to get you. You call me next time. Okay. We gotta hurry, so I'm gonna start your shower now before dinner, because your dad's not coming home until later. So I'll get you a towel. Okay. What, you right? What? Oh. Okay. 
Don't let the bed bugs bite. See you in the morning. Good night. Night. Hey, Coop, I see you're spending more time on that old steamer. That's right. How's it coming? Well, it's coming. When's he gonna be finished? Soon. He's been saying that for five years. Why don't you quit working on that damn thing? Get your mechanic's license, like you promised me you would. I'll do it, Billy. Yeah. When? Soon. Sure. Okay, let's give her a try. All right. Okay, keep it sure grip. Slow and steady. That's good. That's good. All right. Okay, now now come come to me a little. To me. Come to me. Come on. Yeah. yeah. A little more. And now to me. To me. How you doing? I got it. You got it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now let's give her a try. You got that rope wrapped around your hand? Yeah. That's good. We got her. Got her. They was fixing to sell her off for junk. They said I was an idiot. Pay for her. Said I was wasting my money. Let me just see what they say. Cheap taxis on down that runway and flying off to somewhere. Not sure. Yeah. I got some people I want to show something to myself. Yeah. You gonna go anywhere special? Everywhere as hell, yes. Didn't you ever hear of a barnstormer? A what? <laughs> I guess you have. Here's these guys, see. Back in the 20s, maybe the 30s. They fly all over in their old biplanes. And do what? Take people up for rides. Just Find a little town, sit her down in some farmer's field. People come from all over, wait in line, pay money, and just take them up for a little ride. Finish it all up, fly off, find another town, do her over again. Are you going to be a barnstormer? Yep. I'm going to land on Park Avenue. Give people a thrill of their lives. Yeah. I'm gonna do that, too. You probably will. Hey, guess what? Doc what? says they can go back to practice next week. Isn't that great? You don't know what a drag it is, boy, sitting on that bench when uh, your whole team's out there playing. Maybe you do, I don't know. Must be hard. Yeah, especially when they're out there and you know you could help them, you know what I mean? Oh, let's get out of here. Hey, you like James Bond movies? Yeah. So do I. 
New one's open Friday night. You want to go? With you? I just asked you, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to. Thanks. Great. Thanks. Oh, but I'd have to check at home first. Oh, that's okay. But they're probably that. Good. It looks terrific with that. Down. <laughs> Did you come on? It tickles. Your eyelashes aren't tickling. Mine are. Just hold still. <laughs> <sighs> That's him. Just hold still. That's him. I'm not ready. I can't get you ready. Close unless... the door. What time does the picture start? Uh, 8 o'clock. Oh. Well, I'll get Jewel. Scott's here. Scott's here. She'll be out right out in the middle. Listen, you can't go with your hair like I that. Know. Where's the brush? He's such a nice boy. Shh. I know. <laughs> for all good seats taken. There you go. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to leave that... Uh, wheelchair? Yeah, the wheelchair. You're going to have to leave it in the lobby. Why? Fire laws. I can't let you block the aisle. Why well, isn't there a place in the back or something? This is an old theater. You're going to have to leave the wheelchair in the lobby and carry her in. Just not carry her in. Uh -uh. Look, no, it'll be okay. Come on, just... No! Look, why can't we just bring the chair in? Look, it's just, it's going to fold up and it's going to go in the side. Me, Would you get the manager? Come on, Scott. 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 Why are you doing this to her? I'm not doing anything to anybody. Forget it. I don't want to see a dumb movie anyway. Julie, look, we can get something to eat. We're not going to a movie, okay? Just leave me alone. on this damn thing anyway. It's never gonna fly. Yeah, come on. It's gonna fly when it's time is right. No, it's not. It's a pile of junk and you know it. Hey, what's eating you, Julie? Nothing. You can tell me. This here's Coop. Julie! Julie, wait up! Julie, wait up! Julie! Julie. Julie, I gotta talk to you, okay? I'm gonna be late. Look, look, I'm sorry about the past the theater. I didn't know about that. I'm sure you and your friends had a good laugh sure. about it. I wouldn't do that to you. Sure. Who doesn't like a good crip joke? Look, what's bugging you? You are. Leave me alone. Julie! Hey, we're going shopping. You wanna come? I gotta go to white class. Hey, Julie, you want to talk? No. It must be hard. It is. 
From point A to point B, your true course is 140 degrees. What's your magnetic course? I don't know. I forgot. Well, think about it. East is least, west is best. What's your course? A good pilot never goes up with anything else on his mind except that plane. Now, do you want to talk about what's on your mind? Nothing's on my mind. You're not telling the truth. I'm a good listener. It's just that I try to be like everybody else, and I'm not. You're special, Julie. Yeah, real special. Oh, Billy, I'm starved. What do you mean? Kitchen's closed. Now, what do you mean the kitchen is closed? It's 4.30. Maybe when you're finished hooking up that glider, I reopen the kitchen for you. I just finished putting it away. Get her out. Find Derek before he leaves. I got a student here, ready to learn what flying's all about. The best place is that glider of his. Roger. Give me five minutes.
squeeze as hard as you can. Oh, come on. You can do it harder than that. You've got good arms. Got to learn to use them. Billy! When do I get to fly? As soon as you build up enough strength to use the hand controls. Well, I'll have her pressing 20s inside a week. When are you going to bring your folks over? Have some of my chili. I don't think they like chili. Well, bring them on Tuesday. My meatloaf's not bad. He's been pretty busy. My dad works almost every night. My mom's busy with the house and stuff. Well, when they have some time, I want to talk to him about your medical exam. What for? Well, you've got to have a medical certificate for your student license. And you can't solo without it. You coming in? No, I think I'm going to go home. Okay, I'll see you, sugar. Okay, bye. All right, Billy Dupree, where is that bowl of chili you promised me? A man could starve to death around here. Well, if you don't like the service, go someplace else. Well, I wasn't complaining. I was only suggesting. chair out. What for? I don't want an electric one anymore. I got good arms. Well, well I, electric I don't think that's a lot better than this whole thing, huh? I mean, you're going to be a big girl now. Huh? I really want my old one. I, I think it'd be kind of hard. I don't know what you think of it. We'll, we'll talk about it later. Because dinner's ready. We, we just talk about it later, okay? So come on. Squeeze this when you get the chance. What professional athletes use to build up their strength. You really are a weak one, aren't you? <laughs> Not for long. Okay. Yeah, better be getting along. Thanks. Before you get in, you start at the nose. Check your propeller. Rub your hand over it. Be sure there are no nicks. Then you go around the plane, and you check every bolt, rod, and pin. Check your gas and oil. We'll mount the hand control on the floor of the aircraft and lead this bar to the rudder. Now, the operation will be forward for right rudder and back for left rudder. Got it? Good. Okay, you make sure that strap's in there. She might throw a couple of rolls on you. I wish you could come with us. I'm not giving rides. I'm giving lessons. Yeah. Clear! Yeah, she's clear.
can't fight you. You see anyone else in this plane? She's all yours. I know I was wrong about the theater stuff. I thought it was all a big joke. I told you I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I know. But I just wanted everything to go perfect. never been on a date before. You should have just told me that. I would have understood. Sometimes I just get so scared. I guess that's kind of dumb, though. Kids can't be smart all the time. Watch out! It's gonna be dangerous in that thing. What are you doing? I'm kind of in a hurry. Well, let me give you a ride. What about practice? I could miss. They're working with the rookies. I don't want to hurt them, know what I mean? Come on. Excuse me. Come on, right here. Let's go. Come on. Right there.
you check the wind sock? Yeah. So you know there's a crosswind? Yeah, I see it. Hold her steady. I'm trying. You're not crabbing, Julie. You're over controlling. I'm taking over. I can do it. Then line it up with the runway. All right. Line it up. Turn her over to me, Julie. No. Don't you fight me like that again. I could have done it, and you know it. No, you couldn't have. You're not experienced enough to land in that kind of a crosswind. We could have flipped. And don't you ever question my judgment again in my own plane. Now, come on. Let's get to getting with them straps. Well, come on, Julie. You gonna sit there all night? Maybe. Get out of that plane, Julie. You're acting like a baby. I'll act any way I want to act, and you stop telling me what to do. I'll tell you what to do as long as you're my pupil. Well, maybe I should get myself a new teacher. Maybe you better just do that. OK, I will. All right, Miss Gracious, let's get out. Okay. Now, you go over there and you apologize to her. No. She knew I could have done it and she wouldn't let me. If she thought you could have, she would have let you. Now, go apologize to her. No. You think, because you're sitting in that wheelchair, you can go around pulling this crap on people that care about you. You can't. She doesn't care about me. She did. She would have let me prove I could do it. But you couldn't. You wasn't ready. Can't you just accept that? No. So what are you going to do? You're going to run away and hide and feel sorry for yourself. Poor little cripple girl. Nobody ever give her a chance. Let me tell you something. You can spend your whole life feeling sorry for yourself. And you know what? You're going to end up in that chair, bitter and lonely and just staring at the sky because you don't give a damn about anybody but yourself. Now. Why don't you go back over there and apologize to Billy? She cares about you. She doesn't care about me. She's like everyone else. She just feels sorry for me. Oh, I think that woman has better things to do with her time than trying to teach some cripple girl how to fly a plane. Yeah, I'm sure she does. Well, she does. Unless she really cared. Flying that plane yesterday, weren't you? Weren't you? Yeah. I knew it. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't. You got in that plane and you took off. And, and what were you doing out there? Taking a flying lesson. When are you taking another one? I don't know. I'm not sure. Look, you want to ride? I can give you a ride, okay? Don't you have practice? No, they, we don't have them next week. They do it all the time. It's no big deal. You want to ride? That's okay. No. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. What? Don't tell anyone. Sure. I see that. Ain't nobody believe it even if I did tell them. You should have seen her bringing this thing in with the whole tail end out on fire. <laughs> and she didn't even know it. I knew it. There was just nothing I could do about it. <laughs> <laughs> Billy? Can I talk to you for a second? Sure. These old buzzers only look mean. They won't bite. Alone? OK. 
Okay. I'm sorry. Can't hear you. I'm sorry. What's all the racket out here? Get lost, Coop. I know I wasn't nice. You weren't. You're a stubborn little... It won't happen again, Billy. I promise. Okay. You're gonna be a damn good pilot one of these days. Your only problem now is experience. It gets dark at 5 o'clock. You need more flying time. Well, school doesn't get out till 3. When does it start in the morning? 8.30. Well, I open up at 6. As soon as I put the coffee on, I'll take you up for a while. 6.30? It's good for you to get up early. Keeps the blood flowing. It's a special project. I don't understand why they have to do it at that hour. Hot. I've got the social science class. Oh, what would you like to drink? Something cold, got any iced tea, mate? Mm -hmm. See, I've got this class at school. We're studying um, city morning jobs. I'll get it. Tell them you're eating, Lisa. Why can't you do it Hello. after school, honey? Nothing. What are you doing? Because it's morning jobs. No. Okay. Is it okay? I just went to Scott said he could he could drive me. Yeah, I'd love Natalie. To. I'll tell him that you just talk to him later. Well, uh, I don't know. What do you think? Sounds okay to me. Yeah. If if it's for school. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Where are you going? I'm gonna make a phone call. I'll be back in a second. Yeah, see you in about 30 minutes. Get off the phone, Lisa. Right. Tomorrow night is gonna be cold cuts. No lemon. What? You didn't put any lemon. Oh yeah. Hey, I'm sorry I'm late. You know, my mind was up and ready, my body just wouldn't budge. You know, it ain't gonna happen again. Hey, you're gonna get in trouble. Those medical reports are confidential. About me. Do you know how to work this thing? Um, look, you, you got it. Let's just go, okay? Okay. Okay. Howdy, Billy. Hello, Julie. Hi, Scott. I brought you this, the medical thingamajiggy. Good. Your parents took you to the FAA doctor. Yeah. Um, can we have some chili? Scott wants to try some. Sure. Two bowls of chili coming up.
looking all over for well, you. Well, you found me. I get to go to the dance tomorrow night. Great. Maybe they'll name me Queen. Don't you want to go anymore? No. Well, what's the problem? There's no problem. Are you embarrassed to be seen with me? No. I just ain't gonna be there, all right? Aren't you gonna play in the game? Yeah, sure. Start and line up. Well, what happened? Nothing. I went in and the coach said, Billings, you ain't been to practice in weeks, but I'm gonna be a nice guy and start you anyway. Right? Well, why didn't you go to practice? Because I was too busy driving you all over the place. Well, why'd you do that when you had to be there? Because I felt sorry for you, okay? Well, don't. Sorry. Look, I didn't mean it. It's got nothing to do with you. Well, then why did you blame me? No, I, I didn't mean to. I just... Look, I like taking you to the airport. It's just, I just came from the coach's office and he kicked me off the team. Well, if you never show up for practice... Look, what's the point of going to practice? You never played me anyway. Well, Scott... Look, you, you don't know what it's like sitting there on the bench because you're no good and everybody knowing it. I do know what it's like. It's different. Why? It just... You're doing something. You, you're flying an airplane. I, well, you're a big part of that. I'm good at one thing, okay? Nothing. That's not true. I'm a lousy ball player. I don't care about that. I care about you. Why? Because I think you're a babe. <laughs> Pardon me? You heard me. You dancing out there? Yeah. If I put on my armrest.
put hand controls in the steerman? Sure. She's just the same as Billy's eagle. Been flying that, and I figured once we hit them clouds, maybe you'd just want to take over. We could uh, fly down to Brownsville. I got some cousins there to love to meet. Billy, did you hear she passed the FAA inspection? We're going to fly her tomorrow. Yep. Not if I have anything to do with it. What are you talking about? As far as I'm concerned, you're never going back up again. Who do you think you were kidding with this phony medical report and lying about your parents? Will you let me explain? Not interested. I can't tell my parents. They won't let me fly. I trusted you. I was wrong. I should never have taken you up. Hold on there, Billy. Listen to me a minute. Billy, listen. Oh. Billy, don't you think you're a little hard on her? This is about time somebody was realistic with her. Can't keep filling her head with dreams. Sometimes dreams help you do things. Or stop you. They'd never let me fly. I think I'm helpless. There's a doc on Main Street that gives most of the physical exams for pilot's licenses. What the hell? She's 16. She doesn't need her parents' permission for a physical exam. Oh, Steve, would you would you look at the toaster? It won't work again. Yeah. Let's see. Right. She thought I was doing that project for school. In the afternoon, she thought I was at the Y class. I wasn't. Where were you? Taking flying lessons. Hmm? You're doing what? I'm learning to fly. I don't believe this. Your sister said she can't fly. I just stopped flying, Julie. You can't fly. Lisa, please. I don't know what you've been doing. All I know is that we trusted you, Julie. You lied to us. But I'm not lying now. I was just afraid to tell you. Where were you? What did you and Scott do in the mornings? He took me to the airport so I could get in more flying time. I can't fly. I don't want to hear flying. any more of that stuff. Please. I'm almost ready to solo. Well, you're not going to. You better believe that. I have to. We rebuilt the plane, put in hand control. I don't know who these people are, Nat, but if you've been telling your mother and me the truth, I'm going to tell you right now, they ought to be arrested. Well, why don't you meet them? I don't want to meet them. Dad, would you come watch me fly? I will not. I will not watch you fly, and you will never go out there again. Do you understand that? You think I'm a cripple? Show you I love you, but I do. You never knew how to world. treat me because you were always afraid of me. And that's why you never came home from the office. And you and Mom used to fly all the time. I'm not I'm sorry stupid. You are fighting in the decision for me. I made. It's my job to protect you, hon. You won't always be there to protect me. You know, you could get hurt up there, really torn up. Dad, you don't know what hurt is. I'm sorry. Well, I love you, Judy. If you love me, you'll 
let me go. I can't. You okay, Julie? I was trying to get a, a plane. Well, I didn't Isn't hear Bert fire. I don't plane. know. I'm just trying Luke, to find out myself, put Billy. Put me in the plane. I, please, Luke, I, got, I passed my physical, Billy, and I told my parents, but they won't let me fly. I got to go up. Please, you've got to help me, Coop. Come on. Just help me get up. I can't. Sure we can't. She's ready. I can't. What do you mean you can't? Can't fly. I've never been able to fly. Never. But you know everything about it. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know what they say. What you want, what you get in this life are two different things. I joined the Air Force. That didn't help. It didn't work. Yeah. It's a nice dream, ain't it? You lied! Maybe I did. But I... I just wanted you to know that you were a flyer. You can do it. can, Julie. I can't do it alone. Of course you can. Got your certificate? Give it to me. I'll sign it. Now you can solo.
to talk to you later. We've got to get her. We've got to stop her. You can count me. She's a minor, didn't you know that? Yeah. She's a minor. I could put both of you in jail for this. Why don't you just do that? Nobody's going to jail. Julie's 16, got a student license, doesn't need anyone's permission to fly. Well, lady, let me tell you, you had no right to teach her in the first place, you know that? Well, if it hadn't been me, it'd have been someone else at some other airport. You get her down here on the ground, you get her down no, here, I you get her on the radio, I can't you, stop you her. just get her down I can't here. Stop. Nobody can stop her now. I don't want my daughter flying. Well, she wants it. She is the one who wants it. Self killed have done that old thing. That old thing has been certified by the FAA, and I got me the paper. Mr. Ward, for the first time in her life, your daughter's doing something on her own. And she's damn good at it. That's fly.